Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hi, I'm Tim Van Orden with The Running Raw Project, and I've got another episode of health news for you today, brought to you from the beautiful summit of Mount Anthony in Bennington, Vermont, where I'm out doing a run in the snow. Today I want to talk about two studies that also deal with a white substance known as milk or dairy products. The first one looked at high fat dairy intake and its effect on breast cancer mortality. Researchers at Kaiser Permanente in Oakland, California, led by Candice Kroenke, discovered that eating high fat dairy products, even just a half a serving a day, increase your risk of dying from breast cancer. This study was not looking to see if dairy products caused breast cancer, but for women that already have breast cancer, half a serving or more of high fat dairy products a day significantly increase the risk of dying from breast cancer. This was an observational study where they looked at 1,893 women with breast cancer. And observational studies can point out correlations or associations, but they generally don't point out causality. So we know there's an association between high fat dairy intake and breast cancer mortality, but we don't know why yet. We don't know what's causing it. Researchers believe that it might be estrogen-like hormones in dairy fat that are leading to an increased risk of mortality. These researchers also pointed out that high fat dairy products have also been positively associated with other hormonal cancers like prostate cancer, endometrium cancer, and ovarian cancer. And this is just one more reason to avoid dairy products. Now on to the second study which looked at the opposite, low fat dairy and its effect on childhood obesity. In this second study, researchers at the University of Virginia School of Medicine discovered that children between the ages of two and four who drank either 1% or skim milk were much more likely to be obese as children than those that drank higher fat dairy. This study challenges a recent recommendation by the American Academy of Pediatrics which suggests that children at this age should drink either 1% or skim milk to avoid excess saturated fat and weight gain. But it turns out to be the opposite. Those consuming the 1% or skim milk were gaining more weight. This is one of the things I love about science. You go in with one hypothesis, you look at the evidence, and then you may come out with a completely different answer than what you went in expecting. Awesome. Once again, these studies point to an association, but we don't know a causal link yet. Researchers think that it might be something in the milk fat that increases satiety and makes these kids feel more satisfied after consuming these higher fat dairy products. So here we have one study saying that high fat dairy bad, another study saying that low fat dairy bad, basically just stay away from dairy, okay? All right, I'm gonna go off and play in some other white stuff now. I'll see you soon.